Welcome to the next evolution in all Onyx accuracy, ScanLadder 2.0. So let's break down the improvements and the latest iteration of ScanLadder. So this new version is a completely new milled parameter structure. Each and every one of these scan bodies is individual in both the size, shape, structure, and the random surface component with a new milled parameter to make each one of these surfaces easily identifiable on a 3D intraoral scanner which obviously improves precision for the fitting surface. But more importantly, what it's been able to do, it means that this hub in the center, the screw axis, that is the only component that's absolutely crucial to scan. The rest of it, you can scan partially, a little bit, or not at all. What that means is, is that when you're identifying this in the lab, when you're comparing the shape of this and matching it on CAD software, the only component that we need is this central hub that matches. The rest of it is there just to improve scanning accuracy. The other improvement of this is that each one of these being individual, it means that we can centrally position them to be able to pick up with the first central frame and then work outwards. But it also means that if you do that, unlike other systems which try to centrally focus things, it's not flat for the rest of the object or a common structure. And what that means is, is that once you've picked up that central frame, we don't lose accuracy as we move across away from that central structure because of the random surface. It also means that we've got the ability to move and position these like never before. We can either centrally focus them or we can position them around the arch. So we have the best of both worlds. And because each one of these is an individually identifiable structure, it also means that as you're scanning, that the central focus of that scanner, the frame that picks up and matches for each single scan as it's taking those scan frames across the arch, there's no chance of that being confused and causing problems with the accuracy across the arch. We also have another benefit, and that benefit is the fact that now, because of this, I've developed two other sizes that you can either get extra or a larger kit with eight different scan bodies. And finally, the biggest improvement of all is now this is the most compatible scan ladder system out of any of the full arch solutions on the market. We have the scan bodies which are to work with 1.4, the Nobel compatible version. We also have 1.6, 1.72, and also the larger size platform rather than the normal 4.8 platform. One of the best things about ScanLadder is the way that I've designed to use it with a Rosen screw. For those of you who understand that this is compatible with a whole host of different screw systems once you've chosen it within the CAD software, Rosen screw, Vortex screw, Powerball screw, Desk screw, and a whole host of others. But in terms of actually using it on the multi unit, the Rosen screws that I've chosen have been used because they compress downwards with the angle channel of the screw itself. So ultimately, the overall benefits of ScanLadder cost, we have the ability to use lots of different systems because of the different screw sizes. We have the benefit of being able to use different libraries. We have the ease of use of one single library between all of the different scan bodies and also have the compression to stop talking of that uh, antilever, uh, cantilever in the wrong direction in use. So overall, for you as a user and placing and restoring all the next uh, solutions, you want something which is reliable and this is now the only solution on the market which will provide you all of these benefits. Nothing else has all of those benefits, but more importantly, it is the only solution. 
with the random surface, which improves things during each and every single frame. And so if you've not bought a set yet, get yourself to scanladder.com and come and join the party replacing all on X accurately, passively with just a scan. And I hope to chat to you soon. Cheers.